Every one of us understands the importance of education, both for an individual and for the community. What remains often unknown is how to navigate the path to attain a good education. In our new web series, we will talk to individuals who have attained excellence in academia, private industry, as well as entrepreneurship. The idea is to learn from the successes and failures of these individuals. We will talk about the personal and professional struggles they have had to overcome. Our hope is that this web series named Profiles in Excellence will provide the inspiration that many of us are looking for as we navigate our own paths. We believe success is about mindset and work ethic and not about shiny credentials. We will talk to a diverse group of individuals from a variety of personal and professional backgrounds. We ask you to join us and guide us on this journey. Welcome to Profiles in Excellence. Uh, hello everyone. Today I have with me Dr. Shabir. Dr. Shabir is a scientist at Harvard Medical School and MIT. Welcome, Dr. Shabir. Thanks a lot, uh, Javed. It is a pleasure to be here with you. Now, let me start by asking you the one question that everyone dreads. Yeah. What was your percentage in 12? <laughs> okay, you, you, you know, we're getting too, uh, too emotional here. <laughs> um, um, the, I was actually always a, a moderate student. I still am a moderate scientist, and uh, I consider myself as uh, you know as moderate as anyone can get. <laughs> um, I had 66 percent marks in my twelfth. But in your graduation, you had rank one. Uh, in my graduation, yeah. In my bachelor's, I had uh, I had I was a topper. You must topper. So, so how did this happen? Like from a moderate student to a topper, like it's a. It was a heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Self-realization. Um, you know, um, people actually say that uh, uh, Joe. Uh, Jo actually jala, jo ka jala hoga na, wo hai. Yeah. So once bitten, twice shy. Um, what what was uh, my main motivation was really the heartbreak that I got uh, by the, the, my performance in my 12th class high secondary school, which we call. And in that time, I had a very dismal performance. Kiya tha. And I really had high hopes of me. Um, I think I was living in a different world <laughs> altogether. Um, confidence, nahi, it was uh, it was overconfidence that actually killed me. Um, I need to put all my things together, put myself together, put my all, all my capabilities and and uh, strengths together, and uh, that's what I did. I, I gave my best. I gave my best. And uh, where did you do your graduation? In it was in Delhi College Puloma. Puloma, I did all my studies. I did high school, higher secondary school, I did Puloma. Or uh, degree college Pulwama se maine um, uh, apni apna bachelor's kara hai. Ours was the first science batch of degree college Pulwama. So and your masters? I did my masters from uh, Pune University. Um, uh, maine qualify kiya tha sent uh, um, combined entrance examination for biotechnology. It's called the CEEB SEEB. Mm -hmm. Or uh, ye ek national level entrance uh, hota hai jisko Jawaharlal Nehru University <laughs> conduct kar hai. So people know why I am actually smirking uh, when it comes to JNU. Yeah, you're in good company. Yeah. <laughs> I was in good company. So uh, usme, uh, they, at that time, there were 32 universities which were participating mm -hmm. in that program, uh, in the CEEB program. And uh, I fortunately qualified that. I had been a master's student for two months in mm -hmm. uh, Kashmir University mm -hmm. in, 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 the, in the Department of Chemistry. And after that, I exam qualified ho gaya, and um, I chose University of Pune because of the fact, the fact that uh, University of Pune Biotechnology Department had faculty from four uh, national lab, uh, national labs, scientists from four national labs who are actually part-time faculty there. So we had, we were really in close proximity of National Institute of Biology, National AIDS Research Institute, National Ke uh, Chemical Laboratory, and National Center for Cell Science, and there was also Agarkar Research Institute, mm -hmm. which are really like, you know, top-ranking national institutes there, um, and I was fortunate enough to be a part of uh, uh, you know, student fraternity at University of Pune, um, and uh, did my master's uh, thesis at National Chemical Laboratory and National Center for Cell Science. Mm -hmm. So, how does a guy from Pulwama end up at Switzerland? Like, what happened? Um, <laughs> and why did you choose Switzerland? Um, I, uh, after my master's in Pune University, I, I was really confused. Uh, I, I did not know how to apply for a PhD. Um, I wanted to do a PhD outside, um, out of India. Or um, it took me a lot of time to really understand the whole application process, um, how to write your CV, how to write an SOP. Or us ek saal I took approximately one year sabbatical, and I was at home. I was um, I was just doing uh, coaching for 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 students, uh, 
तो उस एक साल में मुझे लगा कि आई डिड यू नो सर्च इज हेयर एंड देयर एंड देन कुड एक्चुअली गेट अ फील ऑफ हाउ टू अप्रोच एन एप्लीकेशन उस एक साल के बाद आई अप्लाइड आई गॉट सम गुड कॉल्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट यूनिवर्सिटीज यूनिवर्सिटी मेलबॉर्न वाज देयर इंपीरियल कॉलेज लंदन वाज देयर एंड देन देयर वाज आल्सो यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैनेडा एच um i had an opportunity to go for uh, an interview first there a uh, physical interview wahan pe hua tha um physical presence mein at zurich in zurich yeah mm-hmm. or uske baad when i reached there um i found it a very serene country people were actually saying <laughs> that you know kashmir resembles uh, switzerland um, it's all true of course except for the fact, except for the fact that it's, uh, it's kind of a newer version of <laughs> of 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 kashmir, uh, of kashmir. more uh, more uh, more clean and uh, much well developed and more connected so that was my call um i i went for switzerland and also the fact that uh, it was actually also one of the world renowned labs which i did not find me end up in <laughs> um i did not uh, end up actually continuing that research i went into um finally physical chemistry uh-huh. so if i'm a phd student in kashmir yeah what are the three things you'd advise me to do three top things i think the first and the foremost thing will be um how good your percentage is you need to focus when you are actually a master student when oh, you directly go yeah mm-hmm. when you go for a master student um I think that's that was a question right yeah, if yeah. you if you're a master student yeah. you want to go for yeah. a PhD yeah. so the first and foremost thing is to uh, really focus on getting good grades um mind you you don't have to be in uh, university of delhi jnu uh, or top level universities kashmir university is pretty good um you can do wonders um, i was i was very surprised and very happy to know that one of the students um a couple of weeks ago actually from department of biotechnology kashmir university got um, Marie Curie fellowship oh. which is really world renowned to usme aapko sab apna sabse best dena hai jo bhi aapka syllabus hai you don't have to actually uh, you know pass an examination just for the sake of it for the sake of examination but learn there are really good faculty in every department not just by technology aap apna best dein aur koshish koshish kare ki aap ek aise project mein shamil ho aap aise uh, internship kare jahan pe possibility ho ki ek paper nikal aayega aur usme aapka naam aayega If that is not the case, nobody is actually stopping you from writing a review. Review में आप अकेले लिख सकते हैं आपको बॉस को जरूरत बताने की जरूरत नहीं है इफ योर बॉस फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिसेंटली मैंने वहाँ पर एक टॉक दी थी वहाँ पर कुछ स्टूडेंट्स ने मुझे बोला कि दे आर वेरी एफरेड ऑफ देर बॉस इज दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू लाइक यू नो मेक दम एंग्री एंड बट दैन द क्वेश्चन वॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर एंड राइट ए रिव्यू नो बडी इज गोइंग टू स्टॉप यू फ्राम दैट एंड ऑल यू नीड इज um of course uh, internet access yeah. Yeah. i hope with, 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 when it comes to kashmir i hope things actually get better mm-hmm. or sabse zyada jo effect hui hai wo student community hui hai i have full sympathy for them i wish i could do anything for them mm-hmm. from here uh like jab bhi inshallah um, the restoration hoga internet ka um you should actually try to choose a topic do some research a literature survey write a uh, uh, write a review article even if it goes into one or two impact factor that's still better than just having write a nothing. paper yes write a paper something is better than having nothing uh, yeah ji ye do cheeze ho gayi teesri cheez ye hogi ki um, you have to finally um, uh, concentrate on writing your cv aapka cv kyunki you are applying for a phd so your cv should not be more than two pages mm-hmm. try to be con- like make it really concise do not have those really lengthy spaces do not have half matlab half page mein aapne title dal diya half mein aapne thoda sa word dal diya but at the same time um, what you could also also do is that there are also some templates which are uh, there uh, embedded in uh, microsoft word jab bhi aap kholenge wahan pe aapko templates milenge resume ke aur dusri iske ilawa ye do cheeze hain jo point number 3 mein hai ek to cv aapka dusra sop sop is one of the very crucial most important things jahan pe aap discuss karte ho half a page quarter of a page or one page mein ek page mein zyada se zyada ki what is the scientific if i'm talking about scientists so what to go for a phd in science sciences ki okay, what is the problem that you want to address uh, why is that an important problem in the first place um, what makes you a good candidate and um, with respect to also your um, experiences and the future lab ya future university to aapko usme kuch na kuch jodna all of this in one page absolutely all of this in one page so you don't have to talk about ki i am from you know pulwama mm-hmm. or sirnagar mm-hmm. or sopor fir mujhe achanak se khayal aaya ki 10th mein maine ye kiya mujhe laga ki nahi mujhe scientist banna chahiye nobody cares about that and the most important thing that you need actually make sure ki aap waha pe maine bahut sare aise sops dekhe hain jahan pe log bolte hain ki i always wanted to become a doctor but then i could not so, so my mother i want that is a very negative that's the last thing that you could actually put on your cv put on your uh, sop 
وہاں پہ آپ کو یہ نہیں کرنا کہ مطلب بائی چانس ہے میں نہ تو نہیں یہ کہیں بہ حض وتھس تو بہ حض گوس وہ مز سن کرن کہیں تو یہ حتل امکان کوشش کرن کہ نگیٹو سینس گھ زہن یون تہ ایس او پی مز تو ہمیشہ ایگزیکٹلی تیل وین بیاکھ نفر یس زن تہ ایپلیکیشن پہ سو وہ دپے تیل کیا رٹ بہت پنہ لیب مز یا بہ کیا دم ایس ایڈمشن پی ایچ ڈی یس مز ون شاید یہ مجھے شاید کارا وارا کہیں پتہ سال پی ایچ ڈی کرنے تو وہ آپ نہیں کر سکتے تک مجھے ہمیشہ کرن کوشش کہ تھی پازیٹو ایٹیوڈ تھاؤن تھی ون کہ مے ہسا اس باسان کہ بہت ہمیشہ پی ایچ ڈی یس لائق مجھے پی ایچ ڈی کرن مگر امہ خاطر ضروری ماسٹرس کر ماسٹرس ہسا کر پہ کن ات سبجیکٹس مجھے جس میں پسند اس مے کر یہ ماسٹرس پہ یہ نا ہیچ مے یم چیز مجھے باسان یم چیز کر بہ یوز ٹو ایڈریس اے پٹیکولر پرابلم دین رائٹ این ایس او پی آن دیٹ اینڈ دین اپلائی دیٹس ایٹ دیٹس ایکچولی دوز آر پری گڈ ٹپس یا So tell me more about your work. You work at Harvard Medical School, <coughs> yes. at MIT. What are you currently working on? I am actually working, um, I work in Brigham and Women's Hospital, mm-hmm. which has affiliation with, uh, it's a teaching hospital for Harvard Medical School, and I'm also affiliated with a program of um, HST, it's called Health Science Technology, mm-hmm. which is a, a joint program between Harvard and MIT. I am into uh, biomed- biomedical engineering or bioengineering. What we do is that we make uh, 3D um, printing models or 3D models of tissues and diseases for example there is a heart disease there is <clears throat> we would actually want to make a small um, in vitro model of of it by taking patient cells um or usme se hum um ek uske sath ek biomaterial use karte hain biometrics use karte hain jisme hum by printer ke through we can make different structures aur aisa heart tissue hoga jo artificial tissue hoga of course lekin isme patient ki cells aayengi سو اس سے آپ کو یہ بینیفٹ مل سکتا ہے کہ ایک کانسیپٹ ہے جس کو بولتے ہیں انٹر جنو ویریبلٹی کہ اگر میں نے دوائی کھائی اور چوہے نے بھی دوائی کھائی تو چوہے پہ شاید اثر کر سکتی ہے بٹ اٹ ول مائی ناٹ افیکٹ می بیکاز آور جینومز آر ڈفرینٹ تو اس سے جو ہمارے جس ٹیکنالوجی پہ ہم کام کر رہے ہیں وہاں پہ یہ فائدہ ہوتا ہے کہ یو ڈرائیو دا سیلس فرام پیشنٹس دم سیلس اور اس میں آپ کی انٹر جنم ویریبلٹی جو ہے وہ ختم ہو جاتی ہے اینڈ دین اٹ آلسو از لیس برڈن آن اینیملس لیب اینیملس آپ کو آپ کو چوہے نہیں ماننے پڑیں گے ریبٹس مان نہیں ماننے پڑیں گے یا باقی اور اینیملس نہیں ماننے پڑیں گے فار ڈرگ ٹیسٹنگ ڈرگ ٹاکسٹی اینڈ ڈرگ ڈسکس اور اس کے علاوہ دوسری چیز یہ بھی ہو سکتی ہے واٹ از مور امپارٹنٹ از کہ جب آپ ٹوڑی مونل ایئر یا ٹوڑی سیل کلچر کرتے ہیں اس میں آپ کے میکینیکل فورسز نہیں ہوتے ہیں اٹ از جسٹ اے مونل ایئر سیلس تو اس میں آپ کے جو بھی ریزلٹس آتے ہیں ضروری نہیں کہ یہ میڈیکلی ٹرانسلیٹیبل ہوں لیکن جب ہم تھری ڈی ماڈل بناتے ہیں اس میں آپ کا ایک میکینیکل کمپوننٹ ڈیفینیٹلی کیا جاتا ہے اینڈ دین ایٹ دا سیم ٹائم واٹ یو کین ڈو از دیٹ یو کین ایکچولی آلسو ہیو ماڈیولر پلیٹفارم جہاں پہ آپ نے ایک سیکشن بنایا فار ایگزامپل لیور کا ایک سیکشن ہارٹ کا بنایا کڈنی کا بنایا اور ایک کسی اور چیز کا امیون سسٹم کا بنایا وہاں پہ آپ دیکھتے ہیں کہ اگر کسی کو لیور کینسر ہوا ہے موسٹ آف دا ٹائمس وی آلویز ٹرائی ٹو اسٹڈی آن لیور کینسر ماڈلس بٹ وی ڈونٹ نو واٹ ایفیکٹ دیز کائنڈ آف میڈیسنس اور ٹریٹمنٹ ہیز آن ادر ہیلدی آرگنس سو دیٹ از ایکچولی ٹیکن کیئر آف بائی دیز ماڈیولر سسٹم جہاں پہ آپ نے ایک ماڈیولر سسٹم بنایا اس میں آپ نے ڈفرینٹ آرگنز رکھے اور ایک ڈیزیز پارٹ بھی رکھا اور آپ نے دوائی یا جو بھی ہے ٹاکسٹی کے لیے فارماسیوٹیکس اسٹڈیز کے لیے آپ نے وہ انٹروڈیوس کری سسٹم میں دین یو آلسو لک ایٹ دا کراس افیکٹس آف دوز ڈرگس اینڈ کیمیکلس آن ڈفرینٹ آرگنز اٹ It came from the feeling of contributing back to your society. Mm-hmm. So I have been into uh, counseling, uh, whatever little I know, I still, there are thousands of Kashmiris who are much better in every aspect than me. Um, the only thing that I see is that maybe there are also students like me, very moderate, very kind. Uh, <laughs> I'm not kind, but yeah, you know, uh, kind in the sense kind that... Kind people uh, don't survive at times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, where uh, is students who are... جن کو اتنا ایکسپوجر نہیں ہوگا جتنا جتنا آئی واز آلسو آف دیٹ کیٹیگری کہ مجھے اتنا میرے پاس اتنے ذرائع نہیں تھے کہ مجھے نہیں پتا تھا ٹک می ون ایئر ٹو ریئلی انڈرسٹینڈ سو ہماری یہ کوشش ہوتی ہے کہ ہم کم سے کم اسٹوڈنٹس کو بولیں کہ بقاعد میں کہہ کہہ لوگ داب یہ بھی چیز میں کر سکی ہیں سو جیسے میں نے ابھی کچھ کچھ ٹائم پہلے بولا تھا کہ آپ ایسے میں یہ چیز نہیں لکھ سکتے کہ مجھے خیال آیا کہ میں تو نہیں کر سکتا میں کوالیفائی نہیں ہوا پھر میں نے یہ کیا دیز آر آل نگیٹوز اور ہم وہ چیز بتاتے ہیں کہ یہ چیز نگیٹو ہے یہ آپ نہ کریں بیکاز وی ویسٹ بیٹر ایبسولوٹلی سو وی ویسٹ فار ایگزامپل تھری ٹو فور منتھس اور ایون ون ایئر 
um, the other person, the other student who might be in that application process on that stage should not lose those uh, those many months yeah. because you already have an experiment which you already performed. So, so, so what does the startup do? A uh, startup actually does, uh, it does the same thing. It does counseling, it does, um, you know, counseling to students, counseling to, uh, uh, you know, scientists. And it also works on, for example, democratizing, uh, uh, you know, knowledge skills. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, hum we are actually on the, in the process of bringing it online, um, jahan pe, um, irrespective of where you are from, uh, what stage of career you are in. But if you know a skill which might be helpful to some, someone else, you can actually put it there and then um, you can also put it in a way that you have some free classes, you might have paid classes as well. And in addition to that, we also have... Um, we also actually do uh, these summits. We have 35 international chapters right now. Mm -hmm. We did uh, the last summit was in Cambridge University. This year also we are going to do a summit in uh, starting from August 22 to August 27 Where? in Cambridge okay. University, UK. Okay. Um, jahan pe bahut sare log aate hain. There are entrepreneurs, there are educationists, there are Nobel laureates. There is also, for example, the last year we had Super 30 guy, Anand Kumar. Mm -hmm. He's coming this year as yes. well. And then what happened last year was um, there was a collaboration between Cambridge University and one of, one of the other universities, um, where we had a HOD for us conference. It is not entirely done by, by our uh, startup. There is a local startup as well in, 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 um, in, in the UK, which takes care of the logistics and, 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 and the whole uh, of uh, this conference or summit being attend, uh, you know, conducted in, in, in Cambridge University. So yeah, so it basically helps people to us to, to connect and the idea is that you can see developed countries, mm -hmm. can, can we actually somehow, uh, you know, Use that uh, model in replicate that mm -hmm. in, in the developing university mm -hmm. by, uh, first of all, bringing people from that particular region, yeah. which has done a good job here in developed countries, mein, and then which also have, who also have this kind of feeling to, you know, give back to their society. society. Mm -hmm. Then we try to actually facilitate those connections where uh, you can have collaborations on university level, you can have collaborations uh, on, the, uh, for example, entrepreneur level. Mm -hmm. There are also people who, who really have that kind of feeling, who really want to contribute back to society. Mm -hmm. This platform brings all of them together. One of the really important things I saw here is the importance of internship, which unfortunately we don't have in Kashmir. Why do you think that happens? And is it because most internships are unpaid? Is yeah. it worth for a student to do an internship where he doesn't get financially paid? I think it's 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 um, it's a, it's a very interesting uh, thing to uh, first of all be in, in, in you know involved in internship mm -hmm. rather than thinking about the financial aspect of it in the early stages of your mm -hmm. career. For example, if you're still like searching for a PhD, it's it's good to do an internship Have which does not yeah which does not pay you. But at the same time, it, uh, same time it actually pays you in a different way. It pays you in the sense that there is going to be a paper out of it, there is going to be a publication, and your name will be there. That will that will affect you in a way that it might help you get into a better PhD, better school for your PhD. So usme main ye kena chahunga ki us time pe us level pe zaruri nahi hai you should think about uh, you know getting paid. What you should think about instead is ki nahi internship karni hai. Aur mujhe falani jagah pe ya falani lab mein ya falani field mein internship karni hai. Kyun nahi kar pate? Particularly from students from Kashmir we don't do internships. Mujhe lagta hai usme bahut sare factors hain. Ek factor ye bhi hai society ka bhi ek factor hai because most times um, you know you would want to actually go out of Kashmir and do internships in different universities, different institutes of India jo ki national level pe bahut acche hain. So us mein ek khwab bhi rehta hai you know coming from Kashmir it has its own you know ups and downs. Uh lekin what I would actually also suggest is um, this the, the onus also lies on the faculty as well jahan pe wo log um, bahut sari different uh, you know fields ke log wahan pe hain bahut experienced log hain bahut hi brilliant scientists bhi hain wahan pe what they could actually also do do is that if they cannot manage uh, to have you know uh, those many people doing wet lab work but they can always try to guide these students to do for example literature survey jahan pe aap chota mota review article bhi likh sakte hain but uh, it has to come from both the sides. Mm -hmm. So the onus lies on yeah, most. There should be a balance. Yeah, there should be a balance. But a person, a student himself or herself, should not be, uh, you know, the one ki nahi, shayad mele ni mein aaz internship kya, wal kya hain paraya paga mele. So you have to be proactive. Yeah, you have to take action. That's true. That's so true. where do you see the future trends of your work, like, particularly in the field of, like, as a scientist, such with the rise of, uh, with the rise of AI and machine learning, 
It is going great. It's definitely going great. But the, at the same time, one should actually have this realization that the science does, being in science does not pay you enough. Mm -hmm. It is only for that's very really important. Yes. Yeah, that's very really important to know. If someone wants to become a scientist to become rich, then uh, it's a very wrong decision to start with. Uh, most of the people who are in science, almost 90% of them, know that they are into science not for the sake of earning money, mm -hmm. but for the sake of uh, you know Continue. developing something yeah. which will benefit the whole humanity. Mm -hmm. Now you talked about M ML, machine learning, and AI. I would actually say it is uh, you know it is IT of 95, 90s. Uh, it's a it's a it's a wagon. If you want to jump in, you're more than welcome. If you miss it, you will know, you will get to know 10, <laughs> 10, 15 years later. But it is making a lot of strides in the fields of healthcare. Um, there are also things which people actually use it for, for example, image recognition, so that it can help in uh, super resolution microscopy, super resolution stuff. Um, there are people who are using it for diagnostics. Mm -hmm. um, Halim about the papers, I think there was a very path breaking paper from Stanford University wherein um, a machine learning algorithm actually beat um, to, you know, more than a dozen uh, surgeons, mm -hmm. radiologists, because it was uh, better at predicting any a particular type of disease that the other uh, radiologists couldn't. So this is the future, and in, 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 in that aspect, I think it's also important that uh, we should inculcate in our kids, in our, in our younger generation, that just being a doctor, being an engineer, or being um, a scientist from the conventional side of it um, is, uh, is one approach, but the other approach is that if you are good in computer science, if you are good in modeling, um, computer modeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So most uh, computers are good at. <laughs> yeah, no, I, they're they're brilliant. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I have huge respect for computer yeah. kids. Um, so they can actually jump in, um, you know, into 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 this kind of thing. Um, I have I have had interns, I have had students who did BCA or bachelor's in computer engineering who are now into healthcare That's and medicine. Mm -hmm. They are doing incredible. So nothing can stop you um, if you want to be a doctor even after doing it. <coughs> MBS. Sorry, even after doing a bachelor's in engineering, you can still be a doctor and actually train, uh, you know, MDs. So you have uh, experience <coughs> in different fields. If I'm a fresh graduate, <coughs> what are the three skills that would help me get a job or an uh, or a PhD? Honestly speaking, if you're a, if you're a bachelor student, uh, if you're a fresh graduate, ba graduate like bachelor, um, that's what you mean, I guess. Yeah, you yeah. Know, um, you, you will not be able to get a job if you, um, I mean, more than 90% of the times you will not be able to get a job uh, which would pay you enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also depends if you are field. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are into science, then definitely um, just after bachelor's, there are jobs in the market, but not uh, to the level where you, with a master's degree, the chances are much better. I think that at the same, I mean, exactly the same thing again. Uh, what what really stands out is ki how good you are at what you are doing or what you did. That should reflect in your CV. That should reflect from your um, you know scores that you got. And uh, then again, what matters the most is ki three uh, years or four years of bachelor's program hai. Is me aapke breaks the kafi sare semester breaks jin ki baat kar semester breaks mein kya kiya? So the best thing will be to at least have a couple of internships. Nobody would expect a bachelor's to have a, paper, have a paper, a good paper. But <clears throat> at least you should be, um, you should have done an internship which was worth it. Worth your time and Worth energy. your time and also worth the application that you are applying for. Where you are in a particular area, you have done an internship in an almost similar area, and then your chances become higher. So the basic idea is to have a plan. Basic idea is yeah, planning is more is is the is the key is the <laughs> yeah. key yeah, planning is the key. So, what is one thing that you will tell a younger Shabir? If you, uh, go back with the, you have a time machine. You go back. You meet him. What is one thing you will tell him? Um, study mathematics <laughs> and have a gris, have a grasp of computer science. So, um, I think no matter whether you are doing PhD here, PhD in Persian languages, arts, humanities. Computer science is, uh, you know, at the heart of it. Um, mathematics in my field, I think I would have been a much better, I could have done much, much better had I uh, been a good uh, student of mathematics nice. as well. Um, unfortunately, in Kashmir, we do have this kind of phobia where people do subjects. not want, yeah, avoid, especially mathematics. I was one of them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we are together on that. <laughs> um, that would have been great. Um, 
try to encourage people to go for mathematics. It's not that uh, that difficult, and it's good to have people who are good mathematicians among us. What do you consider the biggest failure in your life, and what did you learn from it? <clears throat> I think the biggest failure uh, was um, actually, uh, you know, thinking high of myself um, during my high school. Uh, that sh that actually took a lot of things away from me. Had I really had an opportunity to really look beyond myself, um, beyond my area, beyond my region, um, that would have been great. Uh, if I had gotten an opportunity to come out of Kashmir, to come out of even Pulwama, and then see people around me, and then know that no, I'm I'm not alone. There are much bigger fish in, in the <laughs> tank. So um, I was not a fish at all in the first place. I was a human being, of course. But <laughs> the point is that. Um, वो चीज जब ये रियलाइज हुआ उस टाइम पे शायद थोड़ा सा देर हो गया थोड़ी सी देर हो गई थी बट एट द सेम टाइम मे बी इट वुड हैव एक्चुअली ऑल्सो हेल्प मी अ ग्रेट डील एंड एंड द अदर फेलियर वाज ऑफ कोर्स यू नो सम वन हु वाज फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट फील्ड एट अ हायर लेवल एंड देन गेटिंग सम काइंड ऑफ काउंसलिंग फ्रॉम दैट पर्सन कि व्हाट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट व्हाट इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज राइट नाउ इवन वेन आई एम साइंस <clears throat> the biggest hurdle of my in my life actually is that i'm not able to uh do justice when it comes to mathematics or computer science i need to have interns who will have to do it for me um, but it should have been really good if i was the one who was at 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 the helm of it and who was doing that yeah it happens to all of us yeah 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 <laughs> so we all know the situation back home in kashmir yeah. i mean the education obviously suffers the most yeah what would you advise the students like how should they navigate such because it is out of their control like what can they do especially students from 10th and 12th because they are young at these universities those students know what they are into yeah the youngsters like students in 10th and 12th yeah. like what would you advise them i think uh, what i would actually advise is uh, in 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 those years of your high school or higher secondary school a lot of stress is not on on lab laboratory so no lab work that's still fine but at least you have the books you have the theory uh, uh theoretical knowledge which is you know in your bags uh, try to take them out um try to give your best try to know the things that are written in in the, in the in the books itself and you might not get opportunity to be doing science experiments but then talk to someone who has a phd who has a masters in science tell them how things work in science try to first of all cover the whole syllabus know it from end to end give your best that is the first and the foremost thing when you do good in your bachelor's in your 10th uh, and 12th then that gives you a chance to go for a good uh, university for a bachelor's so it actually is a chain reaction it's the foundation it's the foundation if you are doing good then you should be actually uh, you know uh, um, you should be able to get good chances the other thing that we need to inculcate in our kids is um zaruri nahi hai ki aap bachelor's ke baad hi university of kashmir mein ja so uh try to you know approach people or faculty from different uh, departments in kashmir university depending upon what your kid or also what awards like are different living in different parts of india or outside india kashmir yeah, yeah 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 so with, with facebook you can easily connect with whoever you want that's true but at the same time it's 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 not possible for everyone to do that agar aap kashmir mein hain um you know approach uh, on a bigger level approach uh, a department a particular department or wahan pe up to work kar rahe hain bachchon ka apne jo 10th or 12th ke bachche that's actually a very good idea yeah ji aur aajkal to khair abhi transfer wagaira aap sabra sara kuch kula hua hai talk to the people there jo bhi aapke area mein koi university mein hoga unko aap bolo ki hum bachchon ko lena chahte hain 10 12 bachche ya 20 bachche ya 30 bachche aayenge wo tour marenge i was i actually saw kashmir university when i was in my bachelor's first year <laughs> बी एस सी का फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट था आई हैड नेवर गॉन कश्मीर यूनिवर्सिटी बिफोर सो वो चीज़ नहीं होनी चाहिए बट इफ़ यू हैव किड्स हु आर लाइक यू नो इंडिया टीम्स दे सी पीपल डूइंग गुड साइंस पीपल एक्चुअली स्टडिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल हिस्ट्री पीपल स्टडिंग आर्ट्स पीपल स्टडिंग लैंग्वेजेस इट गिवज अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ यू नो केक एंड देन इट गिवज ऑल्सो दैम एनफ टाइम टू रियली सी वॉट दे वॉन्ट डूंग इन द लाइफ एंड एवरी थिंग इज फाइन हर कोई सब्जेक्ट बहुत अच्छा है हमें हमें ऐसे भी आशिक वारियन सब्जेक्ट मैं जो रखते हैं ठीक आशिक पोलिटिकल सैंस मज हिस्ट्री मज लैंग्वेज मजकन तुह तान पता तुम वन मिसाल यू हैव बिन स्टूडेंट इन मास्टर्स इन पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एट वन ऑफ द बेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटीज इन बॉस्टन ब्रांड आइस यूनिवर्सिटी 
to show panas to pataki, you know, the kind of things you're doing, you are you're studying, it actually takes into account uh, economies, social uh, every aspect, uh, yeah, of every thing. aspect, mm -hmm. uh, economy kya hai, social, you know, society kis hisab se bad rahi hai, politics, geopolitics kya rahi hai, she's ki, so those are very important as well, and they can also fetch you good jobs <laughs> because it, it all depends upon if you're doing good, you can be a consultant to governments. Yeah. You can actually also work in, uh, you know, international organizations, for example, United Nations or Amnesty International. So you've been in Cambridge for a long time Gee. now. What's your favorite part of staying in Cambridge? Uh, Why do you like Cambridge? I think there are many aspects to it. <laughs> I think one of the best part of studying in Cambridge is that Harvard Yard is, uh, you know, very close by to my home. Mm -hmm. uh, in summers, it's it's pretty 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 good uh, to be there in Harvard Yard. It gives me a feel as if I am literally sitting in the Nassim, Nassim Bagh uh, yeah. campus of Kashmir University. <coughs> there are like really big chinars. Coffee, mm -hmm. and environment hota hai. Or, uh, 